It's time for Access the Experts from the University of Nebraska at Omaha with your host, Brandon Aximit. Hello and welcome to another edition of Access the Experts on News Channel Nebraska, where every Tuesday and Thursday, University of Nebraska at Omaha faculty members answer today's questions facing our state. Now today, we have the pleasure of hearing from Dr. Dustin White, who is an assistant professor of economics at UNO. So Dr. White, today's question is, what are the pros and cons of hosting big sporting events like the Olympics or the College World Series? Thank you for the question, Brandon. Um, it's a really interesting debate about whether or how much it's worth to host a major sporting event. Uh, and it really uh, varies by the event that you're hosting, where you are, and there's a couple other local type questions that, that play into that. So uh, to, to address this question, you know, one of the things that we look at, especially if you look at like the really major events, like hosting a World Cup or hosting the Olympics, there are some places around the world uh, that already have infrastructure in place and can essentially host these types of events with very little infrastructure investment, right? And so if you look at like the World Cup, it would not be that much of an effort to host the World Cup in a country like England because they already have all the stadiums associated with the Premier League. They would be able to use these, you know, these top level competitive stadiums to host that event. And so there wouldn't be uh, a tremendous cost associated with hosting that event, which is a big problem if you're trying to like make sure that you know there is a net benefit to hosting an event. You want to make sure you don't spend too much making the event happen. On the other hand, you have uh, overruns uh, that happen in places like Brazil when they try and host the Olympics or the World Cup, where if you have to build the infrastructure from scratch, it's really expensive. It can run over, it can go long. Uh, and so that becomes a major consideration whether or not it's beneficial to host major sporting events. Um, on the more like local side, you know, we host the College World Series here in Omaha. Uh, in terms of what infrastructure is required, it's already, it already exists, right? We have a stadium downtown. Uh, we have hotels where people can stay. Uh, and then the question just is, can we draw people to an event? And certainly the College World Series brings people to Omaha. And uh, the other question that we want to ask is, would these people have come to Omaha anyway? And so in a place where there's already lots of uh, tourist traffic, you might say, am I just bringing people to Omaha in, uh, in a different season? And so we're not really benefiting the economy, we're just moving people around, which I don't really think is the case with the World Series. I think that you know people are coming for the World Series, which is a baseball specific thing. It's not like, oh, I was gonna visit Omaha anyway. And so when we, uh, when we look at these events, we wanna look at, you know, are people moving their spending from one activity to another? So you know, if we build uh, a stadium for just a sports team, are they spending less money on entertainment in other sectors in the city uh, in order to spend money at the, at the sports stadium? Or are we generating new revenue uh, through this activity that we're hosting? And so what it really comes down to is, does the infrastructure already exist and how much does it cost to create it? And are we bringing new people who are spending new money in our economy uh, into town? And if so, then it's a great choice to host a major sporting event. Uh, if you want to find out more, uh, come check us out at cba.unomaha.edu. Thank you, Dr. White, for sharing your expertise on the topic. For our viewers at home, if you have a question you want answered, submit it at newschannelnebraska.com. Access the Experts, presented by the University of Nebraska at Omaha. If you have questions, submit them on our website. Then join us every Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.46 a.m. and p.m. while we answer your questions.